Please be, it's finally working. I am having such a weird issue with my remake. Every time I insert disc, it says unrecognized. Uh, the damage, the, the, the disc might be scratched or damaged. It's not, it's in mint condition. I have to insert it about 15 times before it works. Anyway, screw it, we're here now. What's good? My fellow puzzles, welcome back to one of the best games ever made of all time, for all eternity, F7 remake. So good. <laughs> Are we pressing on through the haunted graveyard? We're going to see the Wee Aerith scene, which I've discussed it a lot in the previous scenes, but we'll reiterate. And it's really cool to be doing it at this section, especially as we're heading up to the pillar, because this is all about the section my current theory video is around. It's going to be like an hour long. So bloody buckle up. Who we got for today's remake stream? Let's have a look at the names. We got the Slayer. Hey, mate. So Pikachu's back in the house, India. Yo. Hey, hey. I'm looking at the flower meanings of Air's Garden. Do you think there's something we're missing there? Without a doubt, India. <clears throat> Without a doubt. OG FF7 had the black and white material theme. Then the compilation evolved it to black and white wings. The remake added a third layer and it's the uh, yellow and purple flowers. It'll all be in the next video. Oh my god, what an arse this ghoul fight was. <laughs> oh, I've left my wipe counter off. It's got a bit meatier than I wanted. I'm up to 18. <laughs> I've wiped her the exact legal age number. Yay. I'm a legalized wiper. Remember to steal from Elagor pairs. Yes, an Aerith weapon. Where, where am I going? Uh, no, 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 okay. E easy enough? Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. What do you guys think would have happened if they'd caught us? I wonder. Maybe they're the ones who were caught. Can we just exactly. drop the hole? What if they're trapped here and can't leave? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, the, this is, uh, Maiden who travels through the planet is kind of argued over about the canonicity of it, but the abilities that Aerith is bringing in to this, uh, what's she doing right now? This is all so maiden -y. <clears throat> If Cux taught me anything, yellow equals upright, purple equals reversed. Wait, did they have that color scheme in Cux? Wait, what do you mean by upright or reversed? But yeah, I mean, basically, anytime you see yellow, think lovey-dovey, wubbly-jubbly, humanity reunion thoughts. When you see purple, think, shoot the bad corruption, evil Sephiroth. him off. <clears throat> hey, Duquin's in the house. Hey, old Duquin. Just like we hoped. What a relief. We should be able to get through now. Let's find out. Right. Uh, but yeah, what I was going to say in the last P5R stream, you know, I've seen some arguments uh, about the Japanese Aerith versus the uh, British one. Of course, we've had Brianna, who is a very sweet and light voice. Um, and a lot, some people are arguing that her voice makes her too cutesy, and that supposedly the Japanese one is way more like husky and tomboyish. Like, she has, like, a rough, tomboyish personality. Which I, I, I definitely think this Aerith has embodied big time. E even with Brianna's sweet tones. Well, I'm going downstairs, aren't I? No, I'm going downstairs. I think. Punch through. Right, we gotta hurry. Send a wee bit of blue Freeze. Blue. So it's my turn? Oh, Aerith. <laughs> Stop hitting obstacles. Tagging out. Oh, that juicy XP. In fact, am I at level 50 on all my characters? Yeah, I am. There is no point of XP anymore. <laughs> I've maxed it. Yeah, Brianna is awesome. <laughs> I think I like Brianna as a person as much as I do Aerith. Well, maybe not as much. I don't know. Let's stab Brianna and see how I feel about it. If it breaks my heart, then we'll know. 
Um, yeah, hold up. Am I even supposed to be down here? No, no, what I'm supposed to do is upstairs. Okay. Right here, who? Pez, it says that you are streaming P5R. Wait, I'm not on the wrong channel, am I? Oh, I oh, was it, uh, Twitch. Oh my god, I make this mistake every time. I make it every time. I forget. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll admit why I was a little bit later to this stream. Oh, let me quickly change this. I, I was actually setting up uh, the saucy spinner. The saucy spinner is ready to be spun. Uh, I'm just waiting for a saucy moment. And uh, we got past pieces back. Oh, sorry, let me change this. This is. I'm such a douche. <laughs> FF7. Make. Yeah, we swap that. Yeah, we go. <laughs> I'm a sausage. I'm a silly, silly sausage. But you guys have come to find it endearing. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> right, there we go. Switched. <sighs> There's two derps in one day. I know. I know. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Maybe uh, I've just got to go down these stairs. <clears throat> So for how many of you were what was Seven Remake your your goatee, your game of the year? In fact, when are we gonna be having the next gamey awards? I wanna see them seven remake awards, I wanna see them flowing out the goddamn butt. I want the fanboyism behind F7 to hijack the game awards. Best soundtrack. Remake. Best gameplay. Remake. Best story. Remake. Deal with that. Here goes. One more oh, shot. We've got, we've got two drakes. Let's see if I can get these together. So, let them coalesce towards each other. Uh, this, this will hit him. This will Enjoy hit him. Enjoy the ride. Okay, you ready? Oh, oh. Oh, man. Get him! Come on! This one's for you! Let's do this! Tifa definitely has the best air Go on! Oh! Wow. It comes. Definitely my goatee. Definitely. The game always got cancelled, I think and went to stream reveal format. <clears throat> uh, okay. Aha, here we go. outside. Huh? Wait. Right, we got a ghost. A girl? And it switches into Marlene. <sighs> Marlene? So it's kind of like hey, she's projecting sad child Black energy or the ghost is. Live in the train graveyard forever and ever. Tifa is manifesting Marlene. Far, far away from there. All right then, I will. Marlene is so cute in this remake. <laughs> oh, you know Betty? Yesterday she went with her daddy to, to. Is she Garfielding down a lasagna? I think she is. When is Daddy coming back? Oh, Marlene. <laughs> might not make it home tonight. Ah, oh, those little... The, the eyes in this game. The eyes. Never have eyes been so good. Marlene, what are you... 
<clears throat> we can't waste any more time here. So yeah, the thing I see really significant about this scene, and again, it comes what from Maiden. Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. Yeah, so it looks like like Cloud didn't see Marlene, but yeah, it's kind of like memory works this way in this universe. That's why it's far plainy. That um, like you can project emotions, that emotions can stagnate and coalesce, and uh, like Sephiroth, Sephiroth for example, he actually appears on this planet because he's a projection of people's thoughts. Um, well, we're going straight into Elagor. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, this will all be coming out in my Aerith video. Um, <laughs> But yeah, one of, one of the things that it says is that uh, Aerith, when she wants to speak to Cloud, when she's in the live stream, she has to tell the planet that she's like a family member or a lover of Cloud's so that she can contact him. Uh, like, just the same way the far plane works in 10. Like, you need to know the person. <laughs> so Aerith has to tell the planet that, that they're a couple. So what was that? Why why was there a ghostly swoosh then? Hey, it's Andy Watson. Oh, Andy? Watson, my dear boy. Oh, if I recall, the mobs here get a little bit naughty. I think I wiped here twice in my OG for some stupid reason I can't remember. And I'm probably about to find out. <laughs> This bit's a bit of a shit. <clears throat> I always found this moving. second half to the train game Maybe to kind of kill the pacing. I agree. Side. When I first played it, it felt like filler, and it focus. didn't mimic the urgency yeah. of the situation at hand. Keep it together. I'm coming. Apart so from diving deeper into what this scene is telling us, no turning back. I, I prefer it. I prefer it. Here it comes. You've got this. I got this. Oh, right. Watch yourself. Taking over. Feel the heat. Deal with that. Hey. Hey. The ghosts are molesting me. Wait, like when they got that up, it's it. They cast shield when it's physical and reflect when hit with magical attacks. Right, so what when they got? They cast shield when hit with physical attacks. You're burning up! Yes, so uh, I've, I've just reflected on myself. <laughs> let's go! Oh, these misses, yo! Come on! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh. There go! Finish him off! No. Right. Here comes the bloody shit storm. Oh, God, oh, get up! Oh. I'll take oh, God! Oh! I'm coming. How did I let that go downhill so quick? We just counter stance. We can't counter stance our way out of this. Run, Cloud. Be careful. Fucking flee. Flee, Cloud. Fucking... Go away, Crip Chase! Oh, my God. I'm waiting. Oh, no, I've done it too soon. Wow. The girl you turned out to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not saying anything. We will proceed in silence. I don't know what happened. It all slipped away so quickly. Cripshays have just become my worst mob. Oh, no, the ghosts are the ones doing the big dirty fires, but the Cripshays, man, they keep me locked down. They just, they just nip away. Just nip, 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 nip. <laughs> so did Aerith actually play on a seat with some kids in the train going while she was younger or was it a metaphor? The way I see it, Beric, um, I was going to save it till we get to the part. I interpret it two ways. It was Aerith, like, never having friends and, like, having imaginary friends and it's an extension of her personality that she's fearful of people abandoning her, like, she's got some abandonment stuff. Uh, but the way I see it more now <gasps> is... It's moving. Maybe now we can get to the other side. And I'll go into this a bit later. Come on. I think that Aerith is a literal angel. 
Uh, I, I explain why later. Right, that she's been able to help souls to move on, even when she was a kid, and she's been doing it like subconsciously or unaware. Like she was speaking with these ghosts as a kid, playing with them, and, then, and through doing that, was helping them to move past their negative emotion. And because of that, they dissolved. They were able to move on. So after she's done playing hide and seek, she turns around and they're gone. Like, basically, she came close to ghosts, and then they left. So it's like... That's so hard for a kid to be, like, connecting with all of these planetary beings and then all leaving her just as she gets close to them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we get these down nice and quick. I got... You're done. Oh, that other ghost ain't giving me any fiery jib, that's nice. Enough. Right, quick chaser here. Triple slash the living shit out of me! It's on you. I'll take care of them. Right, look at these nippy little bastards! So says she sends all her friends away. Exactly. I'm dying again. Oh, did they have? Ref did I just reflect on magic on myself? <laughs> Yay! Yes, it teeths. Nice. Is there a, is there a ghost? Ooh. I should probably heal to be honest to do something. Smart and safe. Smart and safe. Align them chocolates. Align them chocolates club. Let's switch it up. Don't give up. There. There. <laughs> My God. Gotcha. Now we gotta switch it up. <laughs> oh my God! The ghost is actually gonna way. survive. Oh. Get ready. I made it. <laughs> Woo. Um, I know Aerith Manor's looking a little bit questionable. Let's go. Yeah, let's get Donde Club. Get up and over here. <clears throat> We're free! <laughs> but yeah, Aerith is such a such conflicted character and what, what I love what they've done with her here the remake is they've put her in such a morally compromised position. Like for our beloved Flower Girl, well, I haven't healed Aerith. I, the fact she's having to be a bit deceitful, she's having to make the choice of breaking destiny, something that Sephiroth wants, that she has to make these hard decisions that she struggles with and what to or not tell the group. Or, or like, e even what she's here on the planet to be doing. She knows she has a, has a purpose. She doesn't know it, the planet doesn't. And, uh, yeah, once you see, see the theory I'm doing, you'll see how We're morally so compromised she really is. Hey, do you think these trains might still run? Could give it a try. <clears throat> the boss here is very hard on hard mode. Well, Elagor looks like it still works. I knew it. That makes me hype. <laughs> I can wipe to Cripshays, but I sure as hell won't lose to an Elagor. Although Elagor was a tedious ass fight, to be honest. That thing does not stop running around. See that? Sort of swirliness there that goes into the black smog. Everybody good? Yeah. That's pretty much. Um... Huh? Uh, I think that's. Like separation code. Yeah, I pick up and. Hmm. Got it. 
Well, yeah, of course I do. We just got the damn thing in there for Except that. It's a bit weird of all the transmissions they could be picking up, they pick up just that exact one. <laughs> Oh man, I love Runa and Rude, but I also feel so bad for these people just trying to protect their homes. Like bloody heroes right here. So that's what we are. Yeah, I mean we are the Oh, the Turks are so dark. <laughs> really Did I say Runo? I don't know why I do this all the time. <laughs> Reed and Runo. All we can do now is keep moving. Good old Reed and Runo. <laughs> please, please let us be in time. How about we stop talking and we start running? But yeah, you see that big swirly tornado? That really mimics uh, Terror Corrupt um, or Negative Livestream. You see it come down in Advent Children. Uh, in fact, you even see the remnants, Kadaj, Loz, and Yazoo. You know they send, they bring those like shadow beasts um, that attack Cloud at the start of Advent Children. They're basically doing that with negative energy. So that this grave, train graveyard is being used by a demon called Elagor. It's absorbing, it, it's feeding on the negative souls. This is also talked about in great detail. And in fact, it's almost Aerith's entire goal for being back in this timeline of the remake, I believe. This sneak wall. Because when Aerith is in the live stream, she notices all the negativity. Uh, yeah, Terra Corrupt is similar to Geostigma, exactly. But the, the difference is... One works off of like the parasitic Genova infection, the other works as a byproduct of Sephiroth from the negativity, from all of the fear and death and hatred that Sephiroth is bringing onto the planet. Like that's a, like a second element as well. And uh, Aerith sees it all happening, all these souls becoming negative, and she thinks to herself after helping send a few negative souls, just like she did with these ghosts, she helps send them. And then she re and then they actually join her consciousness. They actually merge with her mind. And that's the literal definition of an angel, if you go by the law of one or the ancient Ra material. An angel is a social memory complex. So a being that is the emergence of many, many consciousnesses for good. And Aerith is, so by that definition, Aerith is literally an angel, a newborn live stream angel. And she's pretty much like becoming one, like a new figure in the live stream to counter Minerva, like a goddess almost. And I really see that when you consider, um, you know, in Advent Children, people kept calling her mum. Kadaj called Aerith mother, even Cloud called her mother. I think like they make a joke about it, like Zack says this one's too big to adopt to Cloud. That's why they're calling Aerith mother. Uh, and yeah, Aerith thinks to herself, I found a new way to help the planet. But she can't do anything in the live stream by herself. So she wonders if Cloud can help her in some way Why am I not with this. And that's what it's left off on. So Aerith is like a physical form of the collective unconscious in a way. Specifically for the beings that she helped and she grew, grew, uh, grew such an affection for. Uh, and it's very specific to detail that it's both ancient and human souls. So there's a lot of ancient souls that are ready to fuck off the planet because they're sick of it. Like they've been hanging around, you know, just like in OGFF7. But then some human ones. So that's what Aerith is. She's the bridge between human and Cetra, and she is creating a social memory complex um, of humans and Cetra. It's cute. Hey Lauren, good to see you man. Jonathan G, five schneck doodles. Thank you so very much. Hey Bez, hope you're doing well. Today's my birthday. Oi, it's Jonathan G's 111th birthday. Happy birthday, Jonathan. <laughs> How old are you, mate? 
What if Garland is the remainder of Everson's world trying to overtake FF9 planet? Wow! Would you look at that? Just some crazy shit. I mean, FF9, the only link I see in there is that... It's called Gaia, right? You've got Gaia and Terra. Gaia and Terra. And apparently, the, the names Gaia and Terra have been a confusion in FF7 as well. Um, someone was saying to me that it was never called Gaia. And that's not the name of it. Or that it, it is Terra, Terra Corrupt. I don't know, it really confused me, that comment. <clears throat> Are you 26, Jonathan? <laughs> you old, mate. Ten years older than me. It's crazy. Right, you need steel for boss. Yeah, I've got steel. I've definitely put it on. Let me just double check. That is the truth. Yeah, I've got them. I've got them clogged. Cloud can steal Aerith's weapon for her, right? And also, as you guys said, do it when the Elegor is staggered. Actually, I don't know if I should give steel to Aerith then, because Cloud's great when enemies are staggered. Right, where, where, the, where the shit am I going? <laughs> I'm trapped like a rat! Okay, not, not through there. I'm losing my way! Oh, I'll just go around here. Right, right, right. <laughs> Mm, Ash, I don't know. I don't know. I'm... I need to save my mana. <laughs> really? It's your turn. I got it. I mean, these mobs are just like, impossible to fucking kill otherwise. Hey. Oh, mate. Take it over. I'm coming! Go on! Saving mana, mana, mana. What One do we do? Shot. We save the mana. Jesus, guys. Leave That's off. it! Finish him off! There! That works. Well enough. Okay. Yeah, you're up. My Cut. turn. I'll take care of them. Ashy. Clod needs to pray. Ah, oh, you bloody heathen. You only have chakra. <laughs> I put all of my juicy stuff on Aerith. So I will we'll, we'll pray for Aerith. Stay strong, okay? <laughs> Bring it! Whoa. Sorry, but I gotta. Fine, this one's for you. Not oh. bad. Oh. Well, hey, Mr. G, thanks for the birthday wishes. Jonathan G sticking schmeckles in my birthday card. In his birthday card to me. <clears throat> has gone up a, a, a lot I see yeah Lawrence uh, it, it was my controller like it was bugging and the game was bugging and everyone in the chat were bugging which made my game bug Let's so go. we're all collectively responsible for this number must have been a ghost What, I can, what I'm glad to say, though, is uh, other than the ghoul, I think the ghoul killed me quite a bit. I mean, Hell House didn't take me too much. What am I going to do? Most of those wipes, or uh, certainly a significant portion, have come through dumbass mob wipes. Just, just stupid as fuck mob wipes. 
I'm trusting my instinct here. I'm running on instinct. We go over here and we go over there and we do a little turn and we shloop on down here. Yes, Elagor. All right, here we go. What say you guys? Wipe or no wipe? Do I have it in me? <laughs> on this most auspicious of Fridays. Going no wipe. Shmoo said no wipe. This is what I like to see. I can't remember what element. Elagor was weak to. I think it was Blizzard. Because it, it was an ability or arrow. One of those ones where the enemy has to stay in Almost the spot there. to get Come here. On. Which, of course, Elagor does not stay right. still. Cloud's protectiveness for Aerith is so amped up at this part, and uh, The kids that the Black Wind carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever! Oh, here we go. We Aerith scene first. Wait, what's on the back? What is You're that? You're just trying to help, aren't you? Did anyone spot what was drawn on the back of this ghost? <sighs> I'm wondering if some juicy hint on what, what's drawn on the back of that. Trying to remember Elagor lore. If anyone's got any Elagor lore in the chat, can someone post it in or copy and pastor it? I know it was a demon that had 60 legions, but there was something else about what Elagor. Are you ready? Okay. Well, are ya? I'm ready now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no way! We found you! Ah, uh, you got me. Hey, where's Aerith? I'm ready! Yeah. I'm ready! Yeah, so it's like she was playing good. good. Hide and seek with these two ghosts, and through that, that fun and that pureness, they moved on. And in the middle of a hide and seek game, she sees her friends have left her. Come get me! Because she sent them. Oh, oh, her, her little Aerith's hair is even so bloody lovely. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> we Aerith. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Aerith misses the steel sky. That she said so many people leave her in her life. Aerith! And it's through that suffering that she is the dope ass man that she is. <clears throat> hey, we found you. Smell what Aerith feels. I guess you did. See, and that line from Tifa saying, We found you. Yeah. Nice, nice. And Aerith, Aerith getting emotional at that. Like her friends actually came for her and didn't disappear. Let's go. Damn. All right, I'm not ready for this at all. All right, here we go. The demon uh, Abigail. 
or Elagos, so his other name is Abigail, is a demon who is a Grand Duke in Hell. Yep, I read that from the Persona 5 uh, description. Abigail appears as a handsome man on a horse holding a standard or a scepter. He knows all of... That was the part I was looking for. He can appear as a handsome man. He can also appear as a demonic being with a chariot and a horse. Uh, but yeah, he knows all the secrets of wars and sees the future. Mm. <laughs> Then putting Elagor here and hyping up this much about seeing the future. Oh, that's another little DC. Another little hinty. <laughs> uh, secrets of the wars. The War of the Beasts. I believe that Rufus knows that secret. But we'll go into that another time. <clears throat> oh, God, am I ready? Good luck. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, right, it was it was blizzard. When it is in the air, hit it with wind attacks and wind when it's in the air. Uh, let's get the attention of Elagor over here. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. And catch! Oh, that was Oh, Jesus, that is a hitty hitty hurt hurt. Smoky, smoky. Let me handle this. Get him! Oh, yeah, these bloody wheels. Are I got you. dick wheels. It's on you. So it's my turn? Arcane Ward 1. Let's get serious. Smooth here. Don't let him stop us. Can you take over for I me? Need to fight. Well, stay away from the wheels. Out of the arcane ward. We gotta switch it up. My turn. I'm coming. Here we go. Ah, piss sex. <laughs> Aerith doesn't have the blizzard. Who has my blizzard? We'll just we'll cast it. Why don't you lead the way? Oh, oh, even that did pressure. Huge pressure. Nice. Mind taking over. I got this. Oh, well. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Let's go. And catch! This one's for you! Two strike. Don't think I have time for infinity yet, so I'm just gonna. Uh, one more shot! Alright, Clod has my blizzard. Keep it up! So let's Ready or not, draw here I come. tension on Tifa. I'll take care of That's them. All set. Watch yourself. Let's do this. Here we go! Go on! Ah, oh, shit, Trample, so he's gonna be moving. Okay. Oh, come on. There's only one thing left to do! <laughs> nice in. Here we go. Keep it together. I'm coming! Oh, no, 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 stay still, stay still. Ah, God, that's what I hate about this boss. Uh, let's go, regen. You can do it. Let me. Take the lead. I got this. Oh my God, I gotta hit this. Hit it straight on though. Asses, asses. So it's my turn. I tried. I really did. I'm pooping it. I'm pooping it big time. Damn it. I'm coming. How far can it reach? I'm really sleepy. Oh my god. What a joke. Can I, can I just block this? Or I don't know. I better not risk it. Seriously, why the hell am I not going into Punisher? Pay attention. My teeth is almost out. I'm 
Icky start, icky start. We'll pull it back, we'll pull it back. It's on now. Shake it off, okay? Nice. Come on, Claude. Ah, wasted that. Wasted that easy little girl. Not looking good. I'm coming. Here we go, next phase. I should do a bit Kyraga. It's very tempting to do aero though. Very tempting. <laughs> Reflect. Alright, maybe not. Can you take over for I'll me? Take over. Come on, young. I didn't just heal El Elibor, did he? He put Reflect on us as well. Oh! What did I do? What did I do? By the way, I am still aware I'm going to try to steal. I'm, I'm just trying to find a good, good break. I did. I, I cured the boss, didn't I? Fucking tits! He puts reflect on everyone. I only noticed after I cured. Oh god! What a horrible <laughs> ass, Holly. <laughs> Shut your balls. Everyone live! <laughs> That's it! <sighs> Fucking dark. Still in it. I'm waiting. There's no point in me casting the flip. Uh, wind, right? Wind attacks probably for its stagger gauge. Well, it's got reflect on it, so we'll. <laughs> Wait for it to run out. Oh. Gonna play nice and patient. Patient as we go. Patient as we go. Can I just hide here? Oh, for God's sake, Aaron got dropped again. Piss. Come on. Right. Let's get him! Great strike! <laughs> All right, so I've got a little like, off window of opportunity to attack. What the hell? Ooh. I need to get Tifa with uh, full unbridled strengths. She's got the best air combat by far. Oh, he's back down. Nice. Is that arcane ward still around? Bahamut! I've not summoned him yet. Let's get him. Alright, oh, that's gonna look amazing. Here we go, first Bahamut summon. Duty calls. It's interesting again, they've gone for the purple colour scheme as well. With it. I don't know if that's because Lost Kadaj and Yuzu obviously merged. The, uh, the Rubrums merged into Bahamut. Is that why they've gone for that scheme? Uh, I still got Reflect on, so. Ah, oh, he's kind of stumpy. I'll take care of him. Oh no, oh no. Keep eyes. Oh. I got this. Bleeding heck. Alright, strike an enemy with twin orbs of concentrated energy. I can't. Ooh. I won't. I mean, it, it looked very spinny and good, but. Oh my god, how am I supposed to help myself? Let's get out of here. Here goes. Ward one. Try using it. Ooh, nice. Right, it's 
not got reflect on it anymore, has it? And I'm still I'm just gonna drop a big. F I don't think it has. It hasn't got the symbol. Reflects off. I need my. T I need to heal. No, 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 no! Oh, he's casting it again. Son of a bitch. Here he comes. I'm trying, but I'll take over. Mega Flare! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> nice. I'll pay you back. I mean, that was. That was just silly bollocks. Oh, oh no, oh no. Tifa, I'm sorry. No, close your bullet. Okay, I'm awake now. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, here. Man, Aerith is Not critical. Can you take over for a bit? Stay back. Don't try to stay behind it more. There, there we go. Come take the lead. I've got this. Give him your all. Oh, God's sake. Let's do this. Oh my God, these wheels! I hate these wheels. <laughs> oh man, I still can't. Well, I might have to do a pray with Aerith. Two strike. Oh, for, oh, my, oh my god, what a waste of stagger. Uh, the wheels just catch me. Get ready. This one's for you. I hate this boss with my bloody heart. It's on you. Sure, however I can help. Right, here we go. You know what I'm going to do? It's just. Can I get a wee arrow in now, real quick? Sneak it in before Watch he does. <laughs> It worked. It worked. Oh. Ooh, I'm not. I'm not done. Aerith's new uh, limit break yet. Yeah. Almost there. A bit more silence. Wow, what, what does Aerith's limit break do? Okay. Let's have a look. Alright, use a special technique. Entreat the plant's favor to nullify physical damage to all party members. These javelin bolts are... Magic, I think. I'll wait until he lands. Oh no, they might be physical. Steady. Deal with that. Here goes. Cut! Oh, they are physical, are they? Oh, okay. They're physical. Sweet! Let's cast this shit snizzle. Hopefully Aerith don't die. <laughs> My plan is protection. I'm feeling pretty weak. Aerith looks high as hell. He's like, oh, Jesus, man! Oh, God! Too much life energy, man! I hit too much life energy. Whoa! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha yeah. yeah! Jesus on the cross imagery. <laughs> Aerith the Messiah! Everything's oh. Nice. Go on! Right, so they can't hit me? <laughs> I can't be hit. Okay, get him! Nice. Wait, wait, I, I, I got a hurty boom boom. Oh, what? They were magic damage bolts. Oh, wait, 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 does it just half it? Half the damage? I might be You know what, mate? Take a bio. Have a bloody bio. Wait, wait, wait. 
flexible. This will work. You're up. Let's do this. That one's pretty nice. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Eyes down you again, do Claude. Here we go. Just need him to come round here, and I can wreck this guy. You lied to me. <laughs> now that someone was my favourite animation so far. Oh yeah, that was great. Check it out. Uh, it's annoying me. I, I want I want to hit Elagor on Arcane Ward, but he's just standing there like a douche. Oh, screw you, I'm just gonna hit you. Oh no no no, no Pizzy Gates. Give your best shot, so it's my turn. Okay, let's go. Huh. Hell, that didn't put him into pressure. Oh my god, this is Take care the of douchiest them. Douchiest boss I've ever met. Oh. Ooh, next fight, nice. Cloud! Look out! Oh, what nice moves. <laughs> Getting sucked in off the way. Oh, the blizzard again didn't land. It's on you. Hang back. Oh, two limit breaks. Two limit out. breaks, baby. Pushing it. I'll show you what I can do. Ooh, I hopped the beam! <laughs> oh, I've run out of mana on there. If I can I do a wee cure. Come on, Cloud. All the time. Uh, once his silence is off. Silence is almost done, and then we'll be good. We good. We just gotta last a little longer. Actually, Algid Aura does ice damage, right? Ooh, I could be. I should be hitting Elagor arguably with this. Algid Aura. Let's just hunker in the bunker for a sec. It's charging again. Here we go. There's a chance. There's our chance. It's on you. I'll take care of them. We can do better. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Oh, mate. Oh, mate. I need to still, still. Still, still. Why don't you lead the way? I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this. After you. Here goes. Huh? That's it. <laughs> You've got this. Not all the time. Yeah. Go on. Just. <laughs> you need a breather. I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> now, I'll hop the beam in a timely fashion, son. In a timely My fashion. Turn. <laughs> yeah, Claude's the only one who doesn't have rays. I'm, I'm submitting, finally, to the absolute fact that I need three materials, raised materials, on all three characters. Why do I end up in this situation every time? You know what, son? Fuck this. Fuck this. Actually, no, no, I'm not gonna get hit. 
I don't think I'm gonna get hit here. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Well, I didn't like anything about that fight. Nothing. It was horrible. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I'm glad I get to redo it again. So this time I can make it look sexy. All over the place. Those were that. What a horrible combination of mechanics. A type of magic that the thing has to stay stationary to get here. Reflects on everyone. Silences out the butt. <sighs> this will be fun to take down. <sighs> Hello, Shadow Jason. Thank you for the subs. Right, no, well, let, let, let's correct this bloody mistake now. Let's get one more revived materia. Yes, yes. Arguably, I, arguably I even need more praise as well. Take off. I mm, know. Oh th start. Let's swap that with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, blizzard with that. Actually, what's the other element? What we're going on? And then the fire. Can bio work as an elemental? Well, with elemental damage. Does that do anything? Can I? Can I poison someone via punching them? Judith! Hashtag Judith! Thank you, mate. First time catching the stream. Welcome to Judith. Pull up a beanbag. Great to see you live. When I first saw one of your YouTube videos, episode prompto, I thought you were the most annoying person. I get this all the time. <laughs> I get this so often, Judith. You're not the only one. I come across as an insufferable douche. Um, I basically changed. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I piss everyone off the first time I meet them. No, bio doesn't work. Um, it, but it doesn't work with elements. Uh, okay. All right, let's give... Uh, I don't know where... I don't really know what to take out with Cloud. First strike. A shark cry, I need. Assess, I need. Deadly dodge is deadly dope. Right, let's take that off for now. Let's take that off for now. There we go. <laughs> now we're safe. <clears throat> Wait. Can I actually dispel Elagor's Almost there. Come reflect? on. Reflect. Right. Is that like one of those dispelly, <sighs> cleansy materials? The, the ones I never touch. <laughs> so I don't need it. I don't need no. I probably do need it. Well, let's go! Chile! Hello, buddy. How does this work? Hello, world! The world says hello back, Chile. <laughs> Thank you, Chile, Chile. Um. Okay. Body peppered. It's my body peppered. <laughs> Greatly appreciated, Chile! So the earliest I want to get down is Blizzard from Claude. In fact, you know what? Oh, you gotta open like that, Elagor. You gotta open like that. <laughs> oh, this is this is a great. This is why this game needs photo mode so badly. <laughs> yeah. No, this is not setting the tone. This is not setting a precedence. Oh man, get everyone's stats in succession. Oh, Arcane Ward. Sorry, but you handle it. We gotta switch it up. Wow. Wow. Wow's a Rooney. 
And so oh, the cloud is silence. My <laughs> I hate this fight! <laughs> Get round, back round. Hit him from the He's sweeping backwards, he's sweeping backwards, more silence, yo yo yo, that's what we like. Oh, I got kind of trampled! <laughs> oh man, this is going to hell real quick. There we go, Shrek. There we go. Come on, Dante right. Cloud. Still in it. Here goes. And catch. Why don't you lead the way? Let's go. Great. Sweet Jesus, Aerith. All right. So somebody told me you can just cure a single target. How do you toggle the single target curiness? I probably should do it full anyway, even overheal the rest of the team. I was L1. So if I did that. I kind of want to bait him away. There we go. Cloud's free. Cloud's free. Here we go. Tagging out. Hang back. If I now pull all, all, all my teammates in. <laughs> nice. Taking over. Taking over. One more shot. Bring it. Perfect. Perfect. Get that up in two, and then Infinity's in. Nice. Take him down. Come on, you can do it. Do a bit more and they're firing the laser. Yeah. You're still doing okay, right? Let's do this. Bit much to go in again. Deal with that. I'll, I'll do what I can. Nice. Just taking a little break. All right, we're pushing through. We're pushing through. Yeah, yeah. Si, senor. I notice. I've been noticing through watching my own streams. I mean, I'm doing it right now. I get a very resting bitch face when I'm fighting. So if you just come into the stream, I'm not an angry, heavy-browed dude. I just have a resting bitch face. <laughs> and reflect, what a, what a dickish thing. Stay back. Come on. It's on you. Hang back. Here goes. Give your best shot. It's horrible to stay focused on the boss for this section. Uh, she can't really see the ground much. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> that was never going to go anywhere. There we go. Tifa's air combat. Much nicer. Once you got... I think you got to have her unbridled strength up. She gets some extra air, juggly shit. Right, so his, his shield is coming down. His shield is coming down. We get onto the late clock. Here we go. We cast it now. Nice. Go on. Perfect. There we go. There we go. I'll get aura. Oh, no, will that be good pressure? Probably. One more shot. Here goes. I'm gonna 
hit this mo I'm gonna hit this mofo with arrow. I don't know about right now, maybe not. Oh, I'll cast a lower level, so it's not as expensive. Watch out for high wind. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's so horrible. Right, so when he like settles, I think I need to cast. There we go. There we go. There we go. If we if we squeak a quick arrow through, does that do shit? Ooh. 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 Oh yeah, here we go. This one huge damage. Rise and fall from Tifa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go with the clouds. Build him up to the thing's end. Nice! Take it from here. Let me teach him a lesson. Strike hard and fast. Sorry. We can do better. One more shot. Oh my god, that's great. That's great. I think I need my an emergency. Turn. So it's my turn? Get him! I could go pray, but again, I, I would like to. <laughs> Should probably just use air it's limit break. Cloud! Look out! Uh, I'm also I'm also think I might heal. I'm gonna get the right way. Your turn. Okay, let's go. Stay strong, okay? Definitely let's get Shiva down. Oh, shoot! Help us out! There, there's the best wife. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, he can push the container? Let's do this. Yo! Keep it together. I'm coming! Now let's wait for him to become stationary. Let's do it. Let's watch this. In all its full glory. Are you, are you for real? Get him! Can you handle them? Let me handle them. I got this. I need him to come to a standstill. There we go. Oh. Well, I don't know why that didn't pressure. <laughs> it should definitely have pressure. Here goes. Wings of gonorrhea. Diamond dust pressure, and I, th I think we're going to be in it to win it. Oh god, yes, I got steel. Jesus, oh, I'll admit, I'm so focused right now. All right, now let's get our heal, uh, our steel. <laughs> I nearly forgot. You've got this. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Watch carefully. Steady. Bladed staff. Nice. First try, no stagger. No, you win it. Let's just wait for this dick. we uh, save everyone else's. Oh, not looking good. Here we go. Right. Need a breather. So it's my turn. I could pray, but I'm not going to, because I'm a bloody legend. Fire in the laser! Ready? You can do it! Oh, fuck, Eric missed. Oh, God, that was, that was a tip. Oh, that, that laser was stupid. That, that was the stupidest laser. Oh, no. 
Butter bei Dan. Butter bei Dan. Go on! This will hurt. Good luck. Right through. We need to, we need to build up. We need to pray. We need to. Oh shit, we need Jesus. You call yourself a body. Oh god, we need Jesus. Shake it off, okay? Just hang on. I'm coming. Watch yourself. I'll show you what I can do. Shake it off. I really don't work me. Keep it over. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! I, I, shit! There's only one thing left to do. Get Tifa in there. The bloody limit break this fool! Go, Tifa! Go, 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 go! go. Please somehow kill, please! Can I do it? Is the soldier of fortune in Pez's favor? Ah, that's not looking good, man. That's not looking good. Cloud's very close to his limit break. We're so bloody close. We're so close. Punchy, punchy. Get real, real punchy. Flee Tifa, 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 yes, 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 yes. Antifa, Antifa, Antifa. I'm taking over. Great. Slice Claude. I'm stronger than Come on. Tell Tifa fell unconscious. Take it from here. I'm coming. That was a natural clutch. Oh man, this end was Tifa finish. Oh, she was dead though. Let's go. Tifa right. kicked right. Elagor even from her unconscious state. That's how bloody OP she is. <laughs> poison win. I got to say, that fight did sell me on poison. It ticked nicely. It, it sat there. It's that ghost. Where's that on its... Where's that dawn on its back? I'm gonna have a quick pee. Let's see if you guys can make it. Oh, it, oh, that's just Elagor, isn't it? That's just Elagor. And the demon on the top there, that's the chariot with the horse, I guess. I think that's Elagor. Right, be right back. <laughs> oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. My soul's about to die all over again. I've just realised. Now Elical's out of the way. We're getting up to that part. That part again. I ain't ready. <sighs> okay, here we go. See, so yeah, I've got a new bladed staff. Sweet. <clears throat> Who's in the house? Give me a holler. You beautiful Friday peasants. So yeah, like when you look at that, listen to the sound effect. Like now Aerith has basically helped send the souls again, something she's been doing since she was young. And look at the way they diffuse. We've never really seen diffusing before. Um, but the way it was described in Mania Travel the Planet, no different to Far Plane. This sounds just like the way Yuna does it. Oh. 
It's definitely why they've incorporated him of the faith into the, uh, the theme. So long. Like, that's, that's bang on the same sounds. The same jingly jangly far plane. Jingles. <laughs> oh, evil god rewarding me. Even for my small, pitiful, clutchy win. Clutch win! Remember to steal the staff. Hooray! <laughs> Thanks, evil. Um, right. let's, let's get this on. Alright. Right, that, that looks naughty. Staff supporting de sporting deadly blaze on either end. Lustrous shield. Ooh, fla the yellow flowers. Oh my gosh. Follow the yellow flowers. <laughs> Conjure magic cube that keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. Striking enemy one time, uh, only during activation. I don't understand the bonus. Strike an enemy one time only during active. Oh, during while it's active. Okay, yeah, I get that. All right, so a magical shield. That sounds dope. <laughs> okay, let's sploop. And I'm going. I'm going to be a lazy boy. It's gonna go. What's it you gotta press? Yeah. Balanced. There we go. Nice! Well, how many material slots have I got open now? Two. It's annoying when you swap over weapons because. Oh, actually, no, they'll be listed, won't they? As A. A blocked out as fire. And. Boo, 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 boo. I kind of wish that this double-sided weapon was melee Aerith, like melee Barrett. Oh, melee Aerith would be... She'd be a little shit-kicker. Like an ass whooper I want to see her going in and get some of that stabby-stabbiness going. <laughs> well, other way. Thank you, Duke Quinn. Thank you, everyone. Uh, where's this, where's that succulent bench at? Where's that, where's that? About that way. Bench kun. Might be literally the other side. Benchy, wait. Can you not? Oh, have they? Oh, they shut it off with the containers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I <clears throat> heal up. Well, I'm wondering if I need to. I think I'm okay. <clears throat> there she fights like Fang. Oh, I'd love to see Dragoon Aerith. <laughs> Stick with some Dragoon armor. Oh no! Here we go. Oh, chapter complete. There we go. I'll get a heal from that. Yeah. <clears throat> So there's a little interaction um, with the, the the plot ghosts before we get to go up on the pillar. It's a curious one. Try to dissect what the hell's going on. That guy looks so much like Shinra Middle Manager. <laughs> there she is! I sent it everywhere! You are surrounded! I love this line Stand from Barrow. Got to leave your right here, asshole! Shinra, does not negotiate with Harry! And Barrett don't negotiate Resist with these stairs. I repeat! 
Zinra does not negotiate with terrorists! Resist and we will use lethal force! <laughs> Got your lethal force right here, asshole! <laughs> yes, Barrow. It's kind of a bit sad and scary to me to... Stop! I said stop! Drop the weapon now! America's kind of in this state right now. You should be crazy. <laughs> How that guy survives I <laughs> Oh, oh my God. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rude has got a bloody turret attached to his helicopter. He can't shoot for shit. The amount that these little stair barriers are protecting people from bullets is <laughs> it's ludicrous. Oh, thank you, Duke Quinn. The only fight you have with Aerith in your next party chapter is the first one, so feel free to go wild with her MP. Yes, this is true. Uh, Andre, I come to you on this most auspicious of day to offer schmecks and make the next chapter a little easier to handle. You ain't gonna soothe my soul, mate. Dropping a whole plate. Just like that. Thank you. No. No way! Tifa! <laughs> Time for Runo. <laughs> Alright. So I don't know if the plot ghosts intervene here simply because we get here too soon and we're going to climb up the stairs quicker, which makes the, I, I don't think that's the reason they appear here. So that doesn't really explain why we got here sooner, so watch out for this interaction. And use your post-game knowledge to dissect why they pop up here. But Aerith susses them before they even arrive. She's worried. Please, let us through. What are you? That ghost just took the buster sword to the neck. Cloud, Tifa, we have to get past whatever it takes. <laughs> right. Enigmatic bullshit fire. So yeah, this one's the purpley one. This is the little corrupted shitter. Maybe that's it. Like, obviously, because this one's led by an enigmatic, so we can say that this is Sephiroth trying to intervene here. You know, the similar way that it, it was... Was it Sephiroth? Yeah, so it was the enigmatic factor that had Jesse push down the stairs to delay those events. So it's my turn? Cut! Oh man, I'll try this barrier out. This one's for you! Maybe this'll do the trick. Why don't you lead the way? Oh. Has she got the barrier? Oh, she has. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I love those falling Bring effects it. on the characters. The little yeah. My turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's on you. I'm coming. Stick a big juicy fire in this dude's face. Tagging out. Let me So yeah, look at that, look at that. That's crazy. Enigmatic Spectres doing 
that's the same stuff as Terra Corrupt, like those black tendrily stuff. Again, we've seen it in Advent Children. Even more interestingly, when it takes on that little wiggly shape, supposedly when uh, Rufus got Geostigma in Advent Children. I can't remember the scenario, so you guys might be able to remind me, but he was underwater, drowning for some reason, and a little bit of it, like, wiggled into his ear. And that's how he got Geostigma. If I recall correctly. <laughs> I ain't got any weaknesses. So just gonna... Stop this. Keep it together. So it's my turn? <laughs> and catch! Stop it! Ooh, oh my god. You can do it! I got this. What happens to I'll take care of him. We'll just block it. But go. Whoa, that's crazy! <laughs> Fire in the laser! Gotta go for it now! Tagging out! Let's go! Take that! There! You're up! My turn! That's it! Bring it! On you. I'm coming. I don't like One that knock on. There we go. So you got, I've got to sort of sort his camera angle, then hit your lock on spot. Go on. This one's for you. You've got this. I got. This. I'll take care of them. Why don't you lead the Let way? Let me handle this. You scary? Oh, Tifa looks so good in air combat. Bring it. Normal attacks are only a slight effect on stagger gauge, but the gauge film is quickly after it has been interrupted. Uh. Yeah. Give it up. Oh. Uh. Too many. What could Aerith have done to get us there sooner this time? Well, that's what I'm wondering. If indeed these ghosts, because yeah, now they leave, so it seems like they were just there to delay us. Aerith? Come on. That's significant. Every time Aerith puts her hands together, she's praying for something. Um. A lot of arguments says she's she's connected with the white material when she does that, so the way that Cloud called it out, I questioned it. You see a lot of characters go, huh? And what? And question stuff in this game, and I kind of just played it off, but it's always there for some reason to make us think about what just happened. To make us question it. Yeah, I'm not sure not sure why the ghosts appear there. <clears throat> Because, <clears throat> yeah, what we're about to see is the reason why Wedge survived. Uh, the ghosts are there so you get to see Wedge full, right? Well, we'll see Wedge obviously break his fall with the grappling hook. And that's because of the ghost that pushed Jesse's down the stairs. It was that chain event. Wait, wait. Oh, that was a time... Right, yeah, that's a... Oh, you're right. That's a timed fire. Of course, I don't actually... Didn't actually kill the ghost. <clears throat> yeah, it's timed. What you got? Come on! <gasps> That's Barrett! <laughs> what? You okay? Cool, we 
damage. It's so Not bad. as poor. I mean, it was so brutal in OG. He falls from the top I have to and he back. just he dies. The others are still Splat. Stop. Uh, Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. You've got a bloody hero's heart, Wedge. I'm going to. I can still fight. Pigs, he... They were shooting at me and he... Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Oh, it's so sad They're seeing Wedge just on his knees. Right, look, now more ghosts. What do they do? Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. Again, another shot of the ghosts going up there to... I know, will they intervene before we get to Biggs as well? <laughs> this is weird. About time you showed up, Mark. <laughs> Bigs is some goddamn cool. Hey, Captain Savvy, change the lock on enemy switch, the D-pad in the settings. This will give you control over the camera when locked on, made my life much easier. Uh. That does sound nice. Wait, so what are you saying for me to switch it to? Switch lock on to... I'll biff this if I do. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Maybe I should change, make this change because it the camera is giving me troubles. Uh, curse position, camera controls, obviously. Now, can we reposition on lock on controls? Wait, right, so you tell me to change this lock on controls, right? To left and directional bones. Look on controls deep at you. Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh. Very good. Right. <laughs> oh god, we got a, we got a dead soldier, dude. Here. Greg, Greg. <clears throat> See, I'm really confused by all the ghosts are showing here, but yeah, if anyone who's new, Wedge in OG fell the whole distance and died. In this one, he's got a grappling hook, which happens because Jesse can't come on the mission. Because she gets locked down the stairs. So we go to Big Splan E, and we get a grappling hook, and it's very, very helpful. Right. I don't need anything from here. Okay, here we go, the old climb of heartbreak, the stairway of childhood trauma. Oh, for the love of I'm getting sick of this. Don't they have anything better to do? Tell me about it. You see how hard we got hit over here? Shit, what's wrong with these people? Uh, this is Echo 1 3. L2 so I'm going to be one. dealing with troopers again. I'll stick that on Thunder. I'll give Cloud Thunder. Tifa's still got fire. Fire punches. Eric's got the other fire. We good. We good. <clears throat> okay. Hold up. So now, hold up. So now you switch lock on target with the left and right instead of the stick, which is free to move the camera. Let's go! What the? Avalanche! Hostile contact, one target, engage! <laughs> okay! Yeah. 
Oh no, that's not good. That's not gonna help me one bit. T minus one. Alright, if I can counter stance whether this T minus bullshit is. Uh, Counter, counter stance is a naughty that spell. Is. Now, I don't know why I'm setting up all my characters, considering <laughs> considering obviously Tifa and Aerith ain't here. I need to take that fire off Aerith. Swap that, that. Yeah, that's better. Chakra, yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> You need to get Barrett equipped, everything done for a while. Uh, I, I get a chance in the uh, Reno cutscene. Ah, uh... oh, okay, so... Sorry, my TV's about to switch off. <laughs> Meh! Wait. Okay, I'm going to get away oh, from uh, this. there we go, deep. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> You deserve to die. Oh my god, how did my triple slash go through all that? Holding position! Anytime. Easy. See ya. Yeah. Was never in doubt. <clears throat> equip Barrett. Yeah man, I'm gonna equip Barrett in the uh, in the cutscene. Chill. <laughs> Or maybe I won't, and I will take Reno and Rouge. Give me a break. Ah, oh, this is bloody. I'm a little out of reach. You're mine. God damn you, slug! Come here, you little sluggy you bastard! <laughs> Let's do this. That'll do it. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Rude and Reno were quite easy. Are you kidding me? Those boys are straight savages. I guess the fight element you saw made you go through these shields. That it don't work that way, does it? If so, that's OP as hell. Right. So what? Why? Why are the ghosts? Just thinking about it because I'm going to forget otherwise it's going to break my goddamn heart. <laughs> so obviously Biggs has a destiny. Biggs is back at the end of the game. So is the are the ghosts doing something to him now? Like to heal his wounds or... Like they're doing something here I, f I think obviously to keep him alive. Towards the end. I don't know. I don't know. Look, it's weird. The, the, Oh, and obviously they want they didn't want clouds. That one wanted clouds to stay Biggs. away while the other two did something to Biggs. Oh, not this one, man. Not this you made one. it. No, I might not. Hey, is Wedge? Don't worry, he'll bounce back. Oh boy, here we go again. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. <coughs> Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. Oh man, he's so fucked up. <laughs> I think I went I won't last time. What about you? <laughs> I've still got some fight left in me. <laughs> Enough for another platoon or two. <laughs> Don't gotta be a soldier to make a difference. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you don't, Cloud, do you? Oh, one more thing. 
The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the Sector 5 slums. The kids. They're great. I used to visit. <coughs> That you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan. Oh, and he will, he will. <laughs> Cloud was not wrong there. But you have so much in common. Oh my god, I don't know why it's the hand on the head. Good luck. Oh, and the thumb! Oh Is my god! Head. Oh. Oh, they done his death so well. This isn't over. God dang, there was something so... Something so raw in Biggs's one, particularly. Yeah, it's raw, man. <laughs> oh, it's raw as fuck! <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to dig deep on what the ghosts are doing. Uh, it might be something that we, again, we just won't know until a later part of the series. What role these characters now have. But yeah, is that what Cloud really meant when he said you and the kids have so much in common? Because do they know that he's an orphan? Oh wait, no, they do. he does know that Cloud's an orphan. Didn't that get mentioned somewhere when, on that last mission together? Right. Oof. I've heard so much about this chapter select info, Ms. Azzle. So Biggs didn't die here. But Jesse did. That's what the chapter select info says. Where can I read that shiznizzle? <clears throat> Personally, I think it's more that Clouds is unsure of himself and he is, uh, and who he is and who he wants to be, just like a kid since they're still growing. But that's just my take. I like that take, Shmoo. I like that take. <clears throat> I've got a huge lump in my throat. I can't swallow. Goddamn bigs. Oh, joy. These guys. Alright. <laughs> These are common motherfuckers that could actually wipe a boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh no, he got me on my. No, 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 get down, get down. Oh shit, no, no! Go! case of emotion. I hate these guys. <laughs> they, they break the immersion of the game. Little choppy fly. Pass this. 21. Wait, no, that's 221. <laughs> <laughs> Again, another weird, stupid wipe to add to the counter. I'm gonna scroll back up. Everyone's laughing at me wiping. I'm gonna go back to the part of the chat where everyone was feeling feels. Oh man, these scenes are so painful. Uh, oh, this is so sad. Sadness. Too many feels. Jesse X Biggs. P. 
as X Biggs. Hmm. Wow, I'm now 21. So I became a legal. A legalized wiper at the start of the stream, 18. Now I can run for wipe president. Yay! Uh, maybe a little far away. Oh, mates. I hate. These mobs are the worst mobs in the fucking world. You know what? I'm just gonna oh, do this the easy way. I'm just gonna counter stance the shit out of my boys. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. That's it. Go on, I bloody dare you. Try to swipe me. Yeah, you go and get. You go and get. I press chakra! I press chakra! Instead of counter stance! It had a C in it! It had a C! I pressed chakra instead of counter stance! Fuck my life! I pressed the wrong spell! <laughs> I pressed the wrong spell. Oh my god, okay, this is this is for legit the dumbest wipe. 22. Wipe 22 was. <laughs> okay. What a hero you turned out to be. Thanks, Cloud. <laughs> I know. Have a Snickers. I'm not feeling myself. Right, see you, you little assholes. Just well at them. Well, well, well. Oh, I think he's going to kick me in the face. Yeah? Huh? You like me now? Who am I? Who am I? Fucking please! That's what. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do some big ass healing. Right, is he is he coming to chop me up? He's coming to chop me up, oh no. So I wiped. Wait, how many times did I just wipe on Elagor? Yes. I forget. <clears throat> I, oh, that's where that's where that other dude fell. Oh, there's a really cool bit coming up. You see Rude save Tifa <laughs> just because he has the hots for her. Yeah, they need to sort air, aerial combat out. Next, oh next game. <laughs> oh, f like fucking hell! Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I, I will admit I'm getting a bit lost in my lock-on logic. There we go. That's better. <laughs> oh boy. So you're locked on, but your camera doesn't track like this way. We're getting a bit discombobulated with the, the camera tracking. Like, it doesn't turn. Oh, shit. Oh, she. Ah, oh, she. She. I, I'm, I'm going to die again. I'm going to die again. I, and it's really annoying because then you can't, you can't toggle to a different target. 
in this. I don't know if I like this new way of locking on. It's not nice. I can't... You can't de You can't change targets here, which is so fucking stupid. So I'm going to have to run in, strike, leg it the other way. That's the plan. Run, and then flee. Flee, Cloud. <laughs> yes, son! Ashley, we ain't gonna do just some shitty chakra stuff. We're gonna fuck you. Ain't dead yet. Steady, not looking good. Oh, man, take out these boys! Nice. You're mine. Like, yeah, you, you've got to, uh, you got to follow the tracking yourself. Might switch it back. Still in it. Nah, I've got to do it afterwards. I see you. Try me. Are you gonna come down? Oh, you know what? You know what you... Just as I come out, he comes down. <laughs> All good. Like, I think when I'm blocking, he just stays there, but if I... Oh, no. Just, just, just take fire to your face, you bastard mob. I am in great pain. Okay, let me, let me switch back, because this camera is... Not the way for me. <clears throat> Wonder what Aerith's plans of action are for part two in a post whispers world. I hope she has one in her sh shoes in universe. In her shoes. It's in Kingdom Hearts. The secrets of the universe aren't hidden in everyone's shoes. <laughs> well, nah, I, th I, think I, I think I know what Aerith's goal will be. For anyone who's curious on Aerith, keep a peek out for my upcoming vid. If you love all things Aerith. What time we are? I'm 53. <laughs> yeah, <we're coughs> testing. Testing. Attention, Avalanche Scum. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, but Shinra, that's us, won't let you get away with it. That's so us. So go crawl back into whatever hole <laughs> you crawled out of, or something. <laughs> such a bad, such a bad speech. That ought to do it, right? Yes, Rina, well done. <laughs> Good enough. Wait, I know you. Nothing personal, bitch. First class. <laughs> First class asshole. We know he's such a troll. Down your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Reno snickering name. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god. Man, 
through this cheap ass play. <clears throat> I love these guys. Most of their communication is non-verbal. Get down! We don't root best girls. God dang, Tifa. Thank you. That was a close one. God damn. I'm not being funny, but with a kick like that, she could just kick the propeller off the top of the helicopter. It? Much better, thanks. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. <laughs> Go. Follow your heart. <sighs> Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to, need you to get Marlene, get Marlene to, safety. to safety, right? right? Huh? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? Tifa's little surprised face. It's weird. I, I, I always, again, I hop back and forth on how much Aerith knows. And I'm doing this in my latest video. I'm using the distinction of Aerith to be OG timeline Aerith, uh, like future Aerith. And how much is Aerith? Like, there's so many things she reacts to in a very genuine, surprised way. But that right there, I thought, ah, maybe she knew about Marlene because of the train graveyard. But watching that again, Cloud did not see. Um, Cloud did not see Marlene. That's why he asked what was going on. So I'm wondering if that's like future Mar uh, Aerith knowing about Marlene or this Aerith could see Tifa project that Marlene into consciousness. Mm, I don't know. Again, I'm just going to sell on a bit of both. A bit of both. A bit of all of it. God. Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. <clears throat> Come on. Seventh Heaven is this way. I agree with Wait, the. Uh, Wait! Who was it who just said that? You guys can't stay here! I'm convinced this moment is Aerys. I'm actually also convinced as well that at parts of the game, Aerys takes over completely. Like the date scene where Cloud can't actually touch her and she's not there. You know, she fades. Like that was fully Aerys. Um. Yeah, there's, there's a bit, definitely some questions I've got on the plot goes at this part. Uh, uh, come on, play. come on! All right, let's end the stream on... We don't have time to waste! Best character in game. You know who he is. Come on, let us through! Cheer his God, name. It. He's just gonna leave us to die out here! I I'm sorry, I can't open this gate without express orders. You guys can't stay here! Hey, let us Come through. on, come on! How else are we supposed to get to war market? <clears throat> Sir, you yeah. need to step away from the gate. You have to open the gate! It's great! If you don't let these people through! Back off! It's not gonna happen! Wait! I'm no good. Oh, this this dialogue here, here is also very telling and dark. That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're going to stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we could still win somehow. Shit, Wedge can tell. Something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Boom. It's that line right there. That and about four or five others that made me think, especially ones with Barrett, you know when I said that, I think all the characters, not just Aerith, are getting hints of their other selves, getting hints of their timelines, getting these intuitive sensations that come from a place. That's no clearer than that part there. Wedge feeling in his gut that there's a reckoning coming. Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day. I wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. <sighs> Heavy. Poignant. Profound. 
Good I'm boy, not Wedge. sure what's gonna happen next. <laughs> but I am sure. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. <sighs> Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, Greg! Close it! Greg, Greg, no, Greg, sir. Greg! He's our man! No, this sir! Way, you can suck my dick! You can't just... Uh, wait! Oh. Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right! See? You can't miss it! And then Aerith has to... Again, uh, right there, so weird, like... Then Aerith, like, Aerith knows that she's got to get Marlene, and then Tifa like, is like weirded out by how she knew that, and now Aerith is back to asking which direction is Seventh Heaven. No, I mean, it's so weird. Like, why would she need to ask that? But, I mean, even this, this whole evacuation is brought up. Like, there's connotation. I don't know if that's why the ghosts are here. I, I don't know. Like, Aerith Pep talked Wedge. That inspired him to get people out, evacuate them. Which is, of course, has connotations later in the plot. Um, Shinra say not enough people died. Like, there was too many people evacuated. It wasn't as big a tragedy as they wanted it to be. So again, another deviation from OG. Um. <clears throat> Don't worry about me. All right, I'll get these people to safety. <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy, thumbs up. Your seven, please. We need to get as far after seven as possible right now. Go to sector five or six, we'll have a anywhere chance but to here. Survive if we work together. I'm not taking the fall for this. Don't push you guys. If you see someone officer, who needs help, I, I then hope help you them. stay here like a stubborn asshole and get squished. All There's right. no time, guys. Oh, we're back get on out of seven as quickly as you can. All right, we're at the two-hour mark. Find the children. I don't we'll want to leave it here though because this next part with Aerith is by far one of the most adorable. Don't push you guys. If you see someone who needs help, then help them. <clears throat> That's Don't it, Greg. There's no time, guys. You've got to get out of Sector 7 as quickly as you can. Let's go. Are you guys for real? Move yourselves. We'll have a better chance to survive if we work together. On? They're evacuating us. <clears throat> oh, man. You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now, please. Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Now, I'm suspicious of you as well, Well, there's still Mal. time. Well, I don't know who but you are, but... They're going to drop the fate on us? You, you someone yes. weird. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, <sighs> the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. Avalanche, I take it? Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Mm. <laughs> Good girl, Mal. Good girl, Mal. <laughs> I've got to get to seventh heaven. knew it she did it again she crossed her hands and prayed just at that point i don't know that could be a coincidence but there's a few areas and i'll dissect these later where Aerith wants something she uh, 
she wants something and she does that and then it comes into effect. Like she saw it coming in, she went like that and then the helicopter randomly just broke apart above the bar and deviated away. Crazy. I don't know if that her putting her hands like that is anything that caused it to happen, but... <laughs> That's crazy. We need water. She prays Hurry. it in another the direction. <laughs> I don't know. There's definitely stuff when she when she puts her hands together though. I'll, I'll break them down in the theory vid. Oh. This is my favorite part of this game. Oh no! Oh no! We need to find another way to get there. <clears throat> Either that or the whispers did it. In sequence, it's Marlene isn't supposed to die here either. Mm -hmm. Damn it! How the hell did they expect us to hey, escape? What's going on? There's a way up! Over there! <laughs> that guy's voice. <laughs> Damn it! We gotta get through. Gotta find a way. <laughs> this underground passage will take you to Walmart. <clears throat> Finally! <laughs> 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 Everyone pushing like arseholes. Go, go, go. <laughs> Quick, Betty, <laughs> shuffle your way out, set to seven. Fuck, do the Betty shuffle out of here. I know it must hurt, but you've got to be brave now, okay? Come on, keep moving this way. Hey, Aerith is best hey, girl, ma'am. Come on. <laughs> I'll take you to her. Ready? Mm -hmm. She's so bloody lovely. <laughs> Save the midget. <laughs> yeah. Weird midget human. Oh, Almost there, Eric, right? you're so lovable. True love this makes any sense. <laughs> the helicopter fell out of the sky. Mm -hmm. No need to rush. Steady now. Mm -hmm. Are you hurt? Will someone tell me what Wait, the hell is going on? on? Come on, I've got to go too. Don't worry about me. We can get through this. We just have to work together. Get to Walmart. And get Aerith is bound by fate because she's an ancient. Marlene's fate is in Aerith's hand, not destiny. So Marlene is somehow an ancient because she's not bound by fate. I even settle on the idea that all children are pretty much Cetra. This way. Are these part? And then life makes them human. Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty, I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! <sighs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Dirty Aerith, best Aerith. Stop! That way's already... They should make a game of Aerith because of her story. I, I did... Speculate whether they would do a maiden who travels through the planet uh, DLC. I need to get okay, out of my stream. DLC. That'd be pretty groovy. Almost there. There's still no. It's not worth it. Bloody hell! Confirmed. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After mm. all. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. Look at those upper thighs. Come on, Aerith, up you get. Let's go, go! Let's hustle for the most kawaii scene of all time! Please be okay. Ooh. Blood! Wait, was that there before? <laughs> I don't think that's blood splatter. Oh man, I want to take my last sight scene of Sector 7. Before it's goodbye. Oof. Hold on, Marlene. I'm coming for you. Marlene! <laughs> <laughs> we 
when she's just cowering under the time for a game of darts. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Shmoo. Ev just looks like, oh, fuck this. I, I could do this. If anyone could get the whole score in one dart, it's Aerith. She, she, she'd break destiny to do it in one dart. Marlene's like the only sobbing game child that I don't find completely insufferable. <laughs> You're Marlene, right? Who... who are you? <laughs> She's too sweet. I'm... a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Aerith's game face is... Right now, she's incredible. with Cloud and the others. Daddy, too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there, too. <clears throat> Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? Here we go. Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Gosh darn it. Reference of home. The importance of home. I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? I think, ah, I think I know, I think I know how that transference happened. Don't know what she transmitted. I mean, best guess is forward. If Aerith gave Marlene a little glimpse of a future. Don't know what she could have shown her. You smell nice. To switch her temperament up so quick. Like, like her flower. Yellow flower. Oh, she's got a yellow bow. Just notice that on Marlene. Yeah, the colour yellow. Even on Marlene. I hope you remember it. Remember it. Come on. <laughs> oh, through the tears. Exactly that. That's how the transfer happened. It was the tears that made it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way the water drop in the can allowed Marlene to communicate with uh, Barrett and uh, Tifa and to Aerith in Advent Children. It was the tear that allowed her to... Water in this game allows the transference of stuff through time and space. <clears throat> and it seemed to like take Aerith by a little surprise because Aerith went, oh, like just as the tear came down. So... It was the tear that allowed her to do it. But then for Marlene to first say about flowers after that, point to a yellow flower. Again, this is all what my video is about. <laughs> this hour long lore ramble, which I'll be diving into. So the fact that Marlene references that straight after. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh man, I, I love the depth of stuff that Square Enix have weaved in. No game has kept me more mentally stimulated and constantly like, discovering new things all the time and just be like, wow, yeah, nice, sweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I've always said, like even before Remake came out, that uh, in fact, I did a video on it. I was like, uh, the Marley Central one, 
I never knew what happened between Aerith and Marlene, so I was like, there must have been some sort of like spirit bonding at that point that perpetually kept Marlene and Aerith connected. Because we see it all throughout AC. And then when this remake came out, this happened. Blah. Well, when is the video coming out? Uh, so I should be... I mean, I've got about 40 minutes of editing. It's a bit of a lazy edit, so I'm, I'm going to be trying to do it quick. Uh, I'm just going to hustle over the weekend, maybe like Monday, saying, Quay, shmoo. You see the Easter egg in the back of the bar, uh, above Tell the you door pairs. We'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I could help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> um... Go on. Did she say what her favorite flower is? <laughs> I want to. I want to linger around. Wait, is that an Easter egg? The welcome sign. Ten above the door. <clears throat> Full set is very unlikely. One half at most. Um, well, th this is the thing. Like, whenever I say that to Setra, like, there's there's obviously having it in your blood, and then there's embodying the mindset of it, embodying the spirit of the Setra. Uh, and for that to be enough to more or less make you Setra again. And the evidence for that is Angeal. It's all up on Angeal. Angeal loved flowers. He, his fan group had a gardening page for him. Uh, and yeah, Angeal gained a white wing. And he, just like, uh, just like Aerith did at the end of the game, when she puts her hand out and brings up Cloud with Kadage, Angeal did it for Zack. I, uh, yeah. You can like embody the mindset of the Cetra. And uh, a wee little Marlene. She's the best. I want to walk around more because I want to know what, air, <laughs> what she says her favorite flower is. <laughs> right, either way, I'm going to leave it there. Holding wee Marlene's hand. And that'll do. <laughs> Wow, beautiful game. All right, thank you so much for joining me on this Friday, guys. Anything before I bounce? Any theory juice on anything we've just covered? Anything saucy you have on Aerith? Anything you'd like me to cover a video on? By the way, ffpeasant at mail.com. You guys can always hit me up on that. ffpeasant at mail.com if you've got anything that you want me to dive into on the channel. Thank you to Shmoo. Thank you so much, Shmoo, for those bits. I haven't seen your message about the Easter egg. What Easter egg am I missing? <laughs> Oh, Hassan! Have a great weekend, guys! Wait, what does that mean? Mate ne mina sama. Thanks, Hassan. I um, absolutely love that they went this way with uh, that there can be theories. Much more boring if we knew exactly what's going on. That's the thing. Square Enix have said uh, that they, they, they couldn't wait to see what people would theorize and talk about lore and the, the conversation it would create. So, any idea that you can be overthinking this game. Nah, Square Enix have set up this way. This is what they were after, and I love it that they've done it this way. Uh, can't believe it's weekend again. I know, time is going crazy fast. <clears throat> I absolutely hate when people diss this game. It's so freaking good. People say it's like FF13 with how linear it is. What, linearity is getting a complaint? <laughs> I mean, I've... I was gonna say I've come to a point where I don't care what other people think, but I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I, I don't really give a shit. I don't really give a shit. The only thing I give a shit about is when poor logic comes through. <laughs> do you think fan theories could actually affect what they're going to write for the next game? I wouldn't. Uh, not affect. I'd say influence. I'd like to think that Square Enix know what, which direction this is all going. Um, like they've got an outline, a template, a, a mind map. Though I wouldn't put it past Square Enix for them not to have it. And just to be looking at fan theories and based off that. But I, I think they do and I think they'll take bits. I hope they take bits. Uh, sort of craft it in. But I always maintain and I, I want to make very clear, especially when I do these theory videos and I talk about Dirge and Crisis Core. And I always have to reiterate it because a lot of people think I want... The rest of this remake to be some sort of like big universal Minerva Genesis appearing shit fest. I don't. I like. I, th I want them to keep the balance the same as they did in this remake. Stuff that's changing is done in this subtle way. It has the same outline of the story, and the endings and the endings get changed up dramatically. 
Pez, have you talked to Sleepies about doing a video together yet? Hells yeah! We, we've been messaging on Twitter. We've got to hook up. When I say hook up, I mean, I'm, I, he's doing his part three at the moment, so he's really busy on his part three, which I don't blame him. His videos are huge uh, to put together. But yeah, after that, we, I'm going to try to get him on for a collab. Hopefully, and we could just tinfoil hat away. <laughs> but yeah, all, all I'm going to say is as much as I want the game not to be altered or changed uh, too drastically from the original, and the one thing I've repeatedly said before the start of this remake, I don't want characters like Genesis to appear. I don't want... Um, you know, people ask me about Genesis so much. I'm going to say I've actually flipped on that position big time. And that I think that Miner Minerva and Genesis have to appear in this remake. And that they in fact will. And that in fact they already have. They already have. We've already seen their legacy in this game. More than just the S&G cells reference from Hojo. There's more to it. Um... But yeah, in terms of, yeah, I, w I want Genesis's legacy and story to be threaded in more. If he was actually to appear on screen, yeah, I don't know, maybe in some like little secret throwaway 20 second clip or something. <laughs> but I, he's going to make an appearance. He has to. He has to. If this remake is being done the way it's been being done to answer things and explore things that the original couldn't, that have now become so intrinsic to this universe. For example, uh, a great example of that is Proto Materia. Vincent is still in this game, Chaos is still in this game, so Proto Materia, by definition, is still in this game. They can't undo everything that they've done with Proto Materia, so that has to play a story. And if Proto Materia plays a part in this game, we're going to see some crazy shiznizzle. <clears throat> uh, Pez, look up how what is portrayed in Hinduism. It's very close to what FF7 are is showing it as... I mean, the only thing I know about Hinduism with the, the elements, obviously they follow like the five elements, water, fire, earth, wind, and space. I don't know what they specifically say about water, but I'd love to know. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, even flashbacks, like even even when we go to the Gongaga, which I can't, I can't see. Like, do you think we're going to get every location from OG FF7 in the remake? Because there's a lot of them, man. Well, I know Midiku is large, but it, it, it's one of 26 locations. 26. Now, Midiku is the largest, but shit the bed. <laughs> That's a lot of alternative air aesthetic and build design to put together. <clears throat> While I dearly love Dirge Cerberus, a lot of it story was super dumb and I hope they ignore most of it. I, a, a lot of it was, the some of the core stuff was really good. Some of the core stuff was so, 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 so good. So, so good. Um, but yeah, Genesis is already appearing. If pro Materia, e e even if the pro Materia and, and uh, they fob off Chaos and Vincent, the fact that the weapons are in this game, the weapons, and now we know, we, we kind of know who the weapons were made by. They're going to play the weapons so interesting in this. Hey, SN! And Wu-Tai, I know. Can't wait to get there. <laughs> I hope we got that room full of cats. The room that's just chock full of cats. <clears throat> all right. I'm expecting all locations, possibly a few new ones. <laughs> all right. Oh man, I love this chat. I love FF7 chat. I could waffle on it all freaking day. <laughs> I, 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 exactly what I liked as well, Luke. I like the thought of a bigger live stream from Dirge. Cosmos live stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the idea that that might be what Sephiroth is shooting for. Water is also heavily connected to Japanese Shinto religion. I asked about, weirdly, I asked about Shinto in my earlier Persona 5 stream. Is that what Shinto is? Is it an ideology? Shinto. Shinto. Was it like Shinto a period of time? I don't know. <laughs> well, what did they say about war? <clears throat> but yeah, the war water has appeared in way more places in this remake than I realised. <laughs> way, way more. <clears throat> 
Pez, quickly see the chapter selects. Select description. How, how do I see that? Just if, <laughs> double check I've saved. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that Marlene tear. Being why she had a connection with Aerith. Whoa! <laughs> that was clever square. So have I got, have I got to leave, right? Touchpad and L2. Touchpad and L2. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Touch bad than L2. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, well, I'm with you. With you. These. Right. Three fight uh, off the mysterious fiends and arrive at the pillar, leaving the injured wedge and air with the Tiva. Cloud always towards the pillar alone. As soon as the injured big urges Cloud to help his friends, as he always towards, he's spotted by Dodge Chopper. The fire is intensifying. Tiva runs to assist Cloud down on the surface. Wedge secures an evacuation route for the civilians. It's with Seven Heaven. Just read the main scenario. There we go. <laughs> the sound of gunfire echoes through Sector 7. Huh? Wait, it's not touchpad. <laughs> what am I pressing? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a part that basically said that said that Bigs didn't die. You've got to like open these up or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> It's in system chapter select. Okay. Right. Thank you. <laughs> That's easier. Um, right, the sound of Gaffa. Wait, it's the, it's the same shit though. It's there. So, I mean, it is, it is the same. It is the same. I'm going up in the chat, I can't see what the current chat's saying. <clears throat> it won't show Jesse's yet because you haven't got to see it yet. I mean, none, none of these are saying about bigs surviving. It's saying about bigs. Seriously injured. Oh, it does say seriously injured. Okay, that's what you guys are talking about. A seriously injured bigs urges Cloud to help his friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you mean. As simple as that. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Anything else before I bounce out, guys? You bloody law junkies. I oh, know you love it. Gact is back, baby. What is Gact up to these days? <laughs> uh, so, a Japanese religion dating from the early 8th century and incorporating the worship of ancestors and nature spirits and a belief in its sacred power, Kami, in both animate and inanimate things it's weird uh, a lot of what I'm going to talk about in the in the Aerith video is about the positive polarity and the the negative polarity uh, the law of one has this description a lot of religions have it whether you to call it karma or whatnot and how that's weaved very delicately into FF7 uh, FF7 is a very spiritual game well, it has like very spiritual themes in it <laughs> <coughs> what has Gact been up to? Where's Gact? <clears throat> Pedge, do you think there's anything to be had regarding Tifa and her purple gloves? Well, I mean, that's just a specific... Hey! Look who it is! Oh, you're soggy. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a soggy wet Yuna. <laughs> soggy dog! Oh, man, why have you been out in the rain, Yuna? What have you been doing? Alright then! Let's give me an outro with a wet, soggy. Let's give you, let's give you a little fro. Let's give you a little cloud haircut. See how cloudish we can make your hair. You look like Claude. 
<laughs> so scruffy. Alright, bye bye everyone. Have a good weekend. Doodle pip. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Doodle pip, guys. Binge. Shmoo. Everyone else. As and thank you so much, guys. Andre, Captain Savvy. Appreciate Duke Quinn. Thank you, guys. Have a good time. Whatever you may do, don't get too wrecked. I will tomorrow. As I dress up as a lady, enjoy spaghetti, and figure out a detective murder crime thing. Goodbye. <laughs>